Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of the Ocarina of Time. And welcome to the Forest Temple, which as soon as we walk forward, has some Wolfos that spawn here. That aren't too much of a problem for us. I mean, we can still attack them and kill them instantly as long as we hit their tails, so... They really aren't that bad at all. They're very good at dodging, though, apparently. Where's the other one gone? There. And they can block as well if you attack them at the wrong time. You, you really only can attack them when they're attacking you, so... But anyway, we need to get a key, so let's go up. I mean, we don't need it just yet, but we do need it in the next room. So we just climb up this fine. Also up here is a gold Skulltula, so we'll get that. Since we're up here. Just need to get onto this platform first, and then we can get... Get it. Okay. Oh, no, not like that. Ah, we can pull ourselves to the vine as well. Which is helpful to know, but also not helpful when I'm trying to get the skull skull from I accidentally missed because when you have, whenever you Z-target something, it realigns the shot for some reason. I guess it makes sense, but it's a little bit frustrating because I want to be fast. But anyway, there we go. Now let's go find this platform again. If I can. There it is. We want to be careful up here because if we fall down, we have to climb back up again. Which is why I want to probably just hook shot to the... Just hook shot to the chest. If I can find it in 3D space. There we go. Since we can also hook shot to chest, that's going to be very helpful as well. Now... I, I, I kind of glossed over this, but small keys... Are in the dungeons in the future. This key will open a locked door. You can use it only in this dungeon. And now that will appear above our uh, rupees number. Also, this sculptor is just over now because our hookshot is too powerful for, for it. And those four Poes just stole the colored flames. So now we can't do anything with that. So we're going to have to go find those now. But also, while we're here, we can also get this gold Skulltula right there in the back of this room. There we go. And let's go check out what's through this door. For one thing, we have a bubble. A blue bubble. Guard against it, it's blue flame with your shield. So let's block out with our shield, which will put out the flame, and we can just take it out like that. We'll also use the hook shot if we want to do that, I believe. But anyway, we're locked in here. And now we have some Stalfos, which are kind of like the Lizalfos we fought back in the Dodonga's Cavern. Lure it close to you and watch its movement carefully. Attack it when it drops its guard. Yes, I shall do that. It'd be nice if I could get some jump attacks on it as well. These things are pretty cool looking. But anyway, let's take out the second one. Come on. Nice. Nice. Bad. Not really bad, but... Not quite what I was aiming for, but anyway. Take those out, and one of these pots over here... If I cannot get interrupted by the transition stuff. One of these pots over here is a respawning fairy since it... Oh my goodness, it's in the wall. 
If we reload the room, the pot will respawn with the fairy in it, so we can get as many fairies as we need. Which, at this point, fairies are going to be helpful, more often than not, now that we're in the second part. Where we're adult Link, so. Small key. Let's head back this way. Nice, that actually stuns him. That's interesting. Now, there are a few other ways we can go. I think I might need to go over this way. With a Song of Time block. Can I check this? Hang on. Backflip. Oh, N Navi, check. Hey, isn't that the same design that's on the Door of Time? I probably didn't need to check that, that's okay. I don't know why that wasn't working. Oh well. I guess I'm trying to just go too fast and it's just not working. Anyway. Let's remove that block and go through here. Out into the garden where we are immediately met with this thing. So let's take that out, please. And get some ducky nuts from you. There's also an Octorok in here that will just try to shoot at us. So let's bounce that back at him. Now I think that's everything that we need to worry about for the second. Uh, I wish I had my magic right now because that would be useful for taking out some of these Skulltalers. Or Skull Waltalers. But I think I'm just going to have to walk past them. Or well, climb past them, that's the one. I know what I'm doing. I know what this action represents. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't know if we can reach all these, which is annoying, with a hookshot, but we can also hookshot to the vine if we need to as well. Anyway, let's go through here, and take out some more, another blue bubble, blue flame bubble. There we go. And now we get a big chest. Other side. Okay. We get the dungeon map. So let's take a look at that. It's quite a big dungeon from the looks of it. Oh, very big dungeon. Very big. Somewhat big. It's bigger than what we've had to go through so far. But anyway, now that we're over here, let's take out this scrub like that. Oh, that's just a regular... No, what's a... Oh, Deku Baba. Uh, and the... Deku... Oh my goodness, names are escaping me. That's just a regular Skulltler there. Nothing important. Let's hit the switch. And that lowers the water in that area down there. So, we're sort of on the opposite side of the dungeon now where we couldn't get across to because one of the doors was locked. Which is interesting. Ow. I don't know how this is working out so well right now. Come on. Thank you. There's also a Skulltler up there, but I don't know... ...whether or not I can actually reach... Actually, I think I can. Because I think if I aim at the right angle on this chest... ...I can actually get up here and open this chest up, for one thing. Recovery Heart. But I can also get this Gold Skulltler here, so let's do that. Here we go. And now let's go into this well. Nope, come on, down. Down, down, Link. There's a couple of recovery hearts in here. We can also swim through here a little bit. But not a lot. But I do believe at the other end of this tunnel here is another small chest. Which we need to open. So let's do that. And get another small key. So now we have three small keys. I think that's all we need for the moment. So now we can go to the next area. Where we need to go.
This is such a good dungeon to have right after becoming Adult Link. Ow. Okay. So now we want to head up this little step here. And go through this locked door here. So if there's one of these locks on a door, it means we have to have a key to open it. Once the key is gone, we can't use that key anymore, so... It's a lot of things to keep keep track of now. I guess it's not that bad. Just need to remember what things do what, which is fairly simple. Okay. Take out you, please. 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 Thank you. There's also a door up there that we can't access. Now... I love this temple. <laughs> even the music, even though it's a little bit weird, is it works. Okay. There are arrows painted on the floor. Well spotted, Navi. Let's move this block. Which is a very big block, but since we're Adult Link, we can move it. Also, I probably... Ah, uh, no, I do want to be on this side. Let's just pull it down this way. And then push it into this other way. It's, it's a good thing that it fixed, fits through here just perfectly. I mean, look at that. Lines up with the wall exactly how it should. But then it really would be really difficult to push through. Anyway, that's in position now. Let's go up this ladder here. And go around. And let's push this block. Link's foot looks slightly dead. I don't know. That does not look how it's supposed to look, I don't think, for a foot. It's fine now, though. Now let's head back down. And go around this way. Which means we can actually push this block from this side into the hole over here in this corner. Which will actually lower it for us. So that we can actually grab and climb up it. Just like that. And because we moved the other block already, it actually allows us to get through here. By pushing this block into place now. Like that, and that's go up. Okay. Go up, please. Okay. Just gonna get rid of these bubbles. We have another locked door and an eye switch above it, but we can't hit the eye switch because we don't have the fairy- can't use the fairy slingshot anymore. So that's just that. So let's go through here. Like this, and oh my goodness. It's all twisted. <laughs> That's exactly what Navi said. I wasn't expecting that. This corridor is all twisted. Apparently I just remember things far too well, but even though it's twisted, we can still walk along it normally and end up here. Watch for the shadows of the monsters that hang from the ceiling. Yes. We have to deal with wall masters. That, if there's a shadow appearing underneath you in a kind of sound, you want to keep moving until it drops. If it grabs you, it will take you away and you'll be sad. Anyway, there's also this picture of the Poe there that just laughed at me and disappeared, changing to that painting up there. But for now, let's go through this door over here. And this room actually connects down to the other other room that we had before. That we fought the... Uh, Stalfos in. And speaking of Stalfos, here's another one. Who can also fly on the pit. So don't fall down because otherwise you go back down... A lot. 
We don't want that. So let's take this guy out if I can. Just like that. And now after the first one was taken out, the floor is closed up so we don't have to worry about falling now. What we do have to worry about is two Starfos. And the problem with this is once we take out the first one, we have to take out the second one before the first one gets back up again. And vice versa. If it does get back up. So it's on the ground now and we need to take out this one quickly before the other one gets back up. Please. Please. There we go. I was a little bit worried there, but we're all right now. Now. Let's open up this big chest. And we get the fairy bow. Basically works like the fairy slingshot, but it's a bow and it uses arrows. Which we can buy from shops or just get from grass, which is probably going to be easier. Press C to take it out, hold it. As you hold down C, you can aim with the left stick or control stick. Release C to let fly with an arrow. So let's get that out now, since that's going to be helpful. We can also see a quiver over here, which will be there when we're adult. Replacing the bullet bag, kind of. Except we still have the bullet bag. Anyway, let's go back the way we came, I think. I might be wrong. Might be slightly wrong. I feel like I should go back this way first, though. To the red carpet room. And now, we go back up the stairs here. Let's see, it's that painting up there, so let's shoot that with an arrow. Now it's there, so let's shoot that with an arrow. Now it only has one left and nowhere else to go. So let's shoot that. And now it's out here. Now I'm pretty sure though, if we get our Deku Nuts... That if we attack this thing... Oh my goodness. It's attacking me, it's... Spitting at me. If we use our Deku Nuts, it will actually come out of its invisibility state. Which will make it a lot easier to just take out. We can also use the bow if we want to shoot it from a distance as well. That's pretty much how this fight is, though. It's fairly simple. As long as you don't get hit. And it dropped in a couple of arrows for us. But anyway, that also lights up the torch down here. To show that the red flame has been returned. Let's open up the small chest here. Small key. Very nice. Now let's go to the other side. To the blue carpet door. It's a very similar to room to the one we were just in. We fought the red flame po. Which I believe they actually have names. I didn't see what the other one was called because I didn't target it and use Navi. But that's okay. Just gonna just move it around. Because if you look at if you look at the painting it's in, if you're too close to it, it'll switch painting. But anyway, we have a the blue flame po. Okay. Beth, one of the Poe sisters, aim for her when she appears. Jump attack to do more damage. Jump attack to do more damage, and we're done here. Also, the more uh, arrows you see that are like that one there, if there are multiple in the collectibles icon, that you'll get more from it. So, that was a double one, since there were two arrows. 
get the compass. Now we can see everything hidden in the dungeon. And we can see that the boss is on the lowest floor. Now... Let's head up this way. I'm not exactly sure which way I should go. But I'm gonna head up this way. And go through this door which needs a key. Jump across here please. Nope. Missed. Climb the ladder. Now I feel like I've made a small mistake, but that's okay. You also have these green flame bubbles. Use your sword when it's green, fire vanishes. So we can only hit it when the fire vanishes, basically. But anyway, I think we can also just use our arrows to take them out whenever we want. I don't have a key, so I can't get through here. Well, that's a shame. So we're gonna have to go back. Thank you for covering that ledge. Watch for the shadows of the monsters that fall from hang, hang from the ceiling. Yes, Navi, I know. I'm just trying to go this way. Now, I believe I can also backflip or side flip or something. Side jump. No, I backflip. That's the one. Off of that so I can get down the stairs faster. So I guess to be most effective, it would probably be faster to do blue first, then red. And then head back this way. Okay. So, if we head back to that one room with the eye switch in it. We now have the bow. Which is good for us. We can also see that there's a special looking chest up there. There's a treasure chest here. On the wall. You know, where treasure chest normally is. But anyway, if we go back in here and shoot this eye switch, please. Like that. The corridor straightens out. So now we can go straight through here instead of rotating on the wall. Which actually means that this room over here is now in its normal angle. Which allows us to get this treasure chest that we couldn't get before. You got the boss key. Now you can get inside the chamber where the boss lurks. So now in the... In the Adult Link Dungeons, we need to find the boss key chest before we can actually attack, take out the boss. Wall Master, watch out for a shadow on the floor. Destroy it before it goes back up to the ceiling. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Should have some good rupee rewards. Yes, it does. Pretty good. But anyway, let's go into this hole here. And take out these things. If I can manage that. Come on. There we go. Taking the enemies out opens the door. And we can head outside. Just like that. Now, I also want to jump off of this ledge here onto this platform. Because right over here, I believe... Oh, I can hear it. <coughs> right over here is... A gold skull that's just hiding... It's very easy to miss this one, speaking from experience. So let's grab that, please. Just gonna target it so I can actually make sure I hit it. There we go. Now we need to get back across here without falling off. Jump, thank you. I can also just take you out with my arrows now, so that's pretty helpful. Okay, let's go through this door over here. Because we have Another fl well, this isn't a wall master, this is a floor master. When it splits up, destroy all the pieces before they reunite. So this thing is a little bit annoying because it will try to attack you and drain your magic, which I don't have any already. So that's a shame. But if I can actually do some damage to it, that'd be good. I think I need to shield it. Yes. Let's do that. Let's take it out. It'll actually split into three. If any of them are left alive, 
in a, a few seconds, they'll grow back to a full-size one, which can also split into three. If you have Jin's fire, which is pretty likely, and magic, which I don't, it'll make it a lot easier to take out the smaller ones, so... Keep that in mind. But finally I get some magic back from killing them. Thank goodness, I needed- I needed the magic. Grab as much of this as I can. So if we run into another one, I can take it out pretty easily. Anyway, this small chest here has, of course, the small key we needed. So, let's head back in that direction for that locked door. Which will take a little while because we're actually up here now. Back in the maze, like, it room that we need to climb up all the way. So it'll take a little bit of time to get back up, but anyway. I think there's also another chest along the way which is just for some extra arrows if you run out. Because if we go up this ladder here, which will also help us get up to where we need to go as well, since we can just go to where the block is. Up here. But if we go further than that, we can see that this ice switch is up here. Which, as I already said, has some arrows in it for us. There they are. Three arrows, which means a bundle, a full bundle. Okay. Let's keep going up. And up again. So many ladders. Okay. Also, apparently the arrow doesn't... It doesn't actually kill them instantly, but it does... Well, the blue ones. It doesn't take the blue bubbles out instantly with the using arrows. But it does take out their flame and knock them back, so that's good. But anyway, we need to make this room wonky again so we can actually get back through... The other two rooms. Other three rooms? How many rooms are there? There's many rooms. All of the rooms. Okay. Might even be worth taking some of the hearts from here. Just in case you need it. Okay. This is a long way to walk. It's a good thing Link's good at walking. He exercises everywhere he goes. Okay, let's go through here. Now, we have a little bit of a problem. And that is that this ice switch up here is actually frozen. It's also ladders on the sides of this area here so you can get back up. But what we need to do is actually stand on this platform, get out our arrow to be ready to shoot the ice switch. And then as soon as we pass in front of the torch here, shoot through that, setting the arrow on fire which will melt the ice and hit the ice switch. Which, of course, wonkifies the other room. So we have that now. That's not where I was trying to go. I was trying to go back this way. But apparently the platform moved during the cutscene. Which confused me. But anyway. Let's head into here. And now we can drop down this hole here. There's also a, uh, a exit door here. Which I think I can just go through, right? But this takes you to where that treasure chest was that we already got. With the Sculptula up here. And also maybe you can use Pierre or something. Possibly. Possibly? I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't think I've ever taken Pierre into this dungeon before. But anyway. If you haven't had that Sculptula already. You can do that. But now we need to worry about this room. Link, watch out! The ceiling is falling down! And it really is. 
Now, while we're in this room, we actually have a set camera angle, which is weird because it means we actually get to walk around with the bow, just like this. Oh, please take you out and stand in the spot that he was in, because that's where it's safe to stand. Ow. Come on. Hit the switch. Oh, this was a bad choice. But it's okay. I'm somehow okay. I'm just getting hit repeatedly and not taking any damage from it. Get up, Link. It's fine. Let's open up this trade chest here, which I believe these two blocks here are safe. Bunch of arrows. Works for me. You can't climb on top on top of the falling ceiling either. But anyway, let's go through here. And now we have another pot to deal with. Which, this one's an interesting one because it has these blocks here that are going to fall down. And we need to move the blocks around so that they all fit together. And we have a minute to do it. Otherwise, they'll all shuffle their sides. And you have to keep moving the blocks around. Or, if you get it mostly right, and then just wait long enough, it'll just rotate them eventually back to the way they're supposed to be. But that is a lot of waiting, and I'm not going to do that, so... I'm just going to build it the way I'm supposed to. Somewhat. That's out of line. I'm going to move this one into that one. Okay, good. Just need to push these ones into place. There we go. It's also funny that they have an extra block that has the wrong colored Poe on it. There we go. Here's the next Poe sister. Amy, one of the Poe sisters. Aim for her when she appears. Right, and that means I need to also get out. Decking up. Because that's going to help a lot. Just like that. Just like that. And of course, just like that. It's over. Okay, let's uh, go back through here, which actually leads us back once we get through this room. It actually leads us back to the main room. And there's the last part down there. Crying over his sisters. And this is somewhat of a mid-boss kind of thing. Meg, one of the Poe sisters, if she splits into multiple images, you need to figure out which one is the real one. Is it this one? It's the one that spins every time they spawn in. So we need to be keeping an eye on that. Okay. If you get it wrong, they'll be really annoying. That one spin, did the spin. Is it you? If you shoot all of the wrong ones, it's particularly bad, so. Okay, it's that one. Let's take you out. It's it's fairly simple. As long as you get the right one. I remember just shooting all of them as a kid. Oh, it's just giving it putting it right in front of me for some reason. I wonder if it just stays at the same rotation every time. Oh it does. That's interesting. That's very interesting. But anyway, that's all four Poe Sisters. You have to use your bow as well. Because they always stay the same distance away from you. When they split into four. But anyway. That's that. There's also an eye switch up here above this door so you can get into the other garden that we've already been into. Because instead of going through that door, we went through the... Up the wall. And through the room that gave us the map. But anyway, let's jump onto this now. Which is an elevator taking us all the way down this way. Now, there's an entrance there, which is blocked off. And there's an entrance that way, which is blocked off. But, we can actually rotate the inside of this room, basically. So we can change which doors open up where. Which is good for us, because that means we can move the entrances to rooms that actually are open. 
and have switches inside of them. I opened up on a red carpet somewhere. So I know which direction I need to rotate the room. You can also use the map as a reference to figure out which... which ways you need to open up everything. That's not open, let's go to the other side. There's also a skull that I can hear. So we need to find that somewhere. That's the blue carpet. But I think if I just keep rotating it anti-clockwise, I should get everything. <laughs> Probably. Okay. Let's go over this way. Ah! We can move sideways. That's a really weird way to do this. You can't move forward while Z targeting with arrows with your bow. It's weird. But anyway, let's get this extra arrow. And let's get this gold sculptor that's in this little secret pocket room. Since this room isn't required and doesn't have any switches in it. There we go. Now let's rotate the room one more time. Like that. I don't think you can pull them, uh, the blocks on the sides of the room either. You have to push so that they have room to rotate. But anyway, here's the last switch. So let's press that. And now we can head across to the boss, which has a really cool boss door. There it is. Also, if I haven't mentioned already, once we have the boss key, it also appears up here in this spot. That has been empty every time we've had everything else in the, each dungeon. Barry, anyway, let's go forward. And there's nothing here. So, let's leave. Evil Spirit from Beyond, Phantom Ganon. Phantom Ganon goes inside the paintings whenever he comes out. He'll shoot the middle of the ground there, shooting lightning in all directions. Most directions, it's following the arrows on the edges of the rooms with the Triforces. We also need to shoot him when he comes through the painting and is white colored. There is a fake Ganondorf that will be in a second painting which is slightly darker, so you can kind of tell which one's the real one and which one's the fake one. But you need to be ready for him. I think that's the darker one. Where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he? Behind me? Right there, cool. Shoot him, please. How did I... I got, I got him. So you probably want to stay on the outside edge of the room for most of this fight and avoid being next to one of the Triforces. Well, possibly the arrows in the middle pointing outwards? I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Uh, where are you? That's not you, you're over there. Oh, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss badly. But I didn't get shot by lightning at least, so. This is why I've been practicing this fight my entire life. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Okay, where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he? That one. He's, he's too bright to not be the fake one. I mean, not be the real one. Okay, there we go. And now he's outside the painting. So let's be ready for him. It's an evil ghost of the forest temple. He comes out of one of the pictures. Answer his magic attack with an attack of your own. True that. Need to play a bit of tennis with him, but I think I need to be further away, possibly. Or maybe possibly in the middle. This is a bad idea. Well, I guess that works, so let's just take that. Also, if you can do enough spin attacks, you can actually take him out in one cycle. So that is good if you can do that. But he does hurt if he hits you, so... Need to be a little bit careful. I don't know what... How this is supposed to work. He's too close for some reason. I don't know why. 
Oh, this, there we go. Just not gonna move. Just stay here. And everything should work fine. Just need to play a bit of tennis. Okay. And let's finish him off. Not quite. <laughs> Almost. I was doing quite well, but anyway. Oh, what's he doing? I've never seen that attack before. What is he doing? I've never seen that. I've been playing this game my whole life and I've never seen that attack. Can you please not be so close? He still feels too close. Anyway, that seems good. Okay. Nope. Too early. Oh, just dodge out of the way. I've, I'm, I've seen that t attack twice now. He must be like super close to death, and that's why he's doing that attack. Okay, good. And let's take him out now. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. So there we go, the heart should be next to the door that we came in through, with the spikes there. So let's grab that. And let's go into the light. Which now puts us into a crystal. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the forest temple. I always believed that you would come. Because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now, please, take this medallion. You receive the Forest Medallion. Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Saria will always be your friend. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish. 
Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. I'm happy to finally reveal the secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the, mo the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian, and we were always bound to and were always bound to leave this forest. And now you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save this land the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all of the temples and return peace to Hyrule. I can do that. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.